Good day everyone, welcome to another video tutorial. Today we're going to tackle about problems involving equation of circle. This is part 2 of 4. So for example number 11, find the equation of the circle whose center is at the origin and passes through the point negative 3 comma 2. Again, let's start answering this question by writing the given center is at the origin. We don't know the radius, but we know that the circle will pass through points negative 3, comma 2. So in this point, let's solve for the radius by substituting negative 3, comma 2 on x and y's of the equation of the circle. Because this, because if the point passes through, because if the circle passes through a point, meaning that point is uh, we, is a solution to the equation of the circle. So let's substitute that. Negative 3 squared is 9, 12, 2 squared is 4, so 9 plus 4 is equivalent to 13. So this, so our radius is the square root of 13. So this will be our circle equation. For number 12, determine if 0, comma, uh, if negative 10, comma 7 is on the circle of this. So, again, if a, if a circle will pass to a certain point, meaning that point is a solution for the spore, is a solution for the equation of the circle. So, all we have to do is to substitute it to this one to see if it, it would be equal to 49. If it is equal to 49, then it is part of the circle. So, let's write the given, the equation, and the point. Let's test negative 10, comma 7, and let's substitute it to x and y of the equation of the circle. So negative 10 squared is 100, 7 squared is 149. So 149 is equal to 149. Therefore, negative 10, comma 7 is a point on the circle. Determine whether the point 14, comma 8 lies on, inside, or outside the circle whose center at the origin and has a diameter of 32. Okay, first things first is we need to find the center, to look at the center, that is 0, 0, and we need to find the radius. The radius is half of the diameter, so that's why we have 16 units. Now to solve for the equation of the circle, let's copy the formula first, or write the formula, then substitute the given that we have. 16 squared is equivalent to 256. Now, let's test the point 14, 18 if, li if it lies on, on inside or outside the circle. So copy the circle equation and substitute 14 and 8. 14 squared is 196 and 8 squared is 64. So if we add them together, it will give us a... Wee a value of 260. 260 is greater than 256. Therefore, the point 14, 8 lies outside the circle. Determine if the following points are on the circle. x squared plus y squared is equal to 74. So we're going to test each point and to determine uh, what is the location of the point of this one and it will be to determine which point lies on the circle. So if we test negative 8 comma 0, we just need to substitute it to the equation of the circle. So 8 squared plus 0 squared is equal to 74. 8 squared is 64 plus 0. So 64 is less than 74. Therefore, this point lies out inside the circle. For 7 comma negative 5, let's substitute 7 and negative 5 to x and y. 7 squared is 49. 5 squared is, negative 5 squared is 25. 49 plus 25 gives us 74. So since 74 is equal to 74, then this point lies on the circle. Negative 6, uh, 6 comma negative 6, let's substitute it. 6 squared is 36, negative 6 squared is 36 as well. 36 plus 36 is 72. 72 is less than 74. Therefore, this point lies inside the circle. Now, for our last example to this video, let's write the equation of the circle that would pass through this given point. So, we will be writing three equations. And its center is at the origin. 
So again, let's start first with the given centers at the origin. We don't know the radius, and but we know that the circle should pass 7, comma negative 24. So let's solve for R. Let's substitute 7, comma 24 on X and Y. That would give us 625 for R squared, and that gives us R is equal to 25. So now we have our equation of the circle. Write the equation of the circle that passes through the point 2, comma 2, and center at the origin. So again, let's just solve for the R. Let's substitute 2 and 2 to x and y's. That gives us 4 plus 4. So our radius is the square root of 8 or 2 square root of 2. And that gives us this equation of the circle. And for our last example, again, let's write the given. Let's solve for r. That is 9, negative 9 squared plus negative 10 squared. That is 81 plus 100. That is 181. And the radius is the square root of 181. So therefore, this will be our equation of the circle. So that's all for this tutorial. Uh, just wait and watch out for part 3 and 4 of the problems involving equations of circle. So bye-bye.